Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am still loving these clip-ins from Better Length Hair. So I wanted to do a video that shows more of a protective style for the clip-in. As you can see, I have the clip-ins, a headband, but I have no leave out from my actual uh, natural hair. Don't feel like blending your real hair with the clip-ins. This is a great hairstyle to have. So if you would like to see how I achieved this easy look and a couple more looks, stay tuned. So as you all know, the underneath is never pretty. Um, so this is what I'm working with. I just have two uh, twists going down and then I've uh, pinned them up and then I will do the clip-ins. Um, over these going twins. to be honest with you all uh the clip-ins i've been using all week so they honestly have not been washed in about a week so you as you can see it, they're not as defined um as they would be after you first wash them um but that's okay i kind of like the frizzy uh fuller look for the looks that i'm doing today um so you will see how it will still look perfectly fine uh with the headband that i'm using and then the wrap that i'm using as well so uh let's get started so for the first style it'll just be the clip-ins with the headband on them so i will go ahead and just install the clip-ins now <laughs> All of the pieces installed. I'm actually going to be using this head wrap as a scarf today. So I did fold it twice and now I'm just gonna put it on like you would a regular headband. And of course the secret is you want to put the headband over the clip so you can't see the actual clips on the weft of the clip-ins so like that so what I do once I bring it up is I'm gonna tie it again at the top and then just twist the sides and then tuck it in the back I'm gonna do the same with this side I'm just gonna twist it here just gonna tuck it in in the back That is the headband. See? So you can keep your head big and fluffy like this. I actually do like it like this, but I will just add some water and leave-in conditioner to make it a little bit more manageable um, and just so I can shape it a little better. where you don't even have to have any leave out from your hair with the clip-ins. You can just put all your hair back. You just put a headband on to cover the clips and you are good to go. All right, so I'll turn around so you can see the back. Can't even see the twist that I had back there. So I will show you the next hairstyle using a scarf. So this is an infinity scarf. And the reason why it's an infinity scarf is because it does not 
open on either side. Yep. So the clip-ins from the last hairstyle, I literally just left them how I had them. I haven't changed them at all, but I will show you how I put a scarf over this style um, so you can kind of have like a chic little boho look. So the first thing I do is wrap my hair. I kind of come to the front side, kind of put my hair to the side. This is how I want my hair to lay with the scarf over it. So now I'm just going to continue to twist the scarf all the way down, like so. And then I'm gonna wrap it around and make a knot in the front. So, and then just kind of tuck the end underneath. So now you have a little knot. And this is it. Simple, easy, quick little style using these clip-ins. So especially if it's raining outside or again you just don't want to take the time to blend your hair with the clip-ins this is just a great way to kind of just um wear a scarf on your head instead okay so i took the scarf off so the third and final style i'm going to do is a updo using a scarf so i'm going to put my hair up first So I'm going to use the same scarf I used before as a headband, and but I'm just gonna kind of open it up like you see here. I'm gonna uh, put this on the back. So I'm gonna make sure it's even, and I'm just gonna put it around the back. this. So I'm going to tie it in the front once. I'm going to tie it one more time. Now I'm just going to twist again like we did last time. Twist it down. And kind of tuck it in the back. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to tuck this side in. This. So depending on how many inches you bought in this hair, it may just be a little too long to put up in a um, by itself. So I'm going to go back and take my ponytail holder and then just play with it to where you can almost make it a puff. You can make it a big pineapple like this. And that's it. So this is style number three. So that's three hairstyles that you can do with the better length clip-in. If you are interested in purchasing these clip-ins, I will put the link below. And I do have a coupon code where you can get $5 off. It's Delisa C and I've also shown that below. Uh, so make sure you take advantage. They are great. 
quality clip-ins. Um, I've been using them literally for the past like two or three months now. Um, so that's definitely been my favorite go-to style um, at the end of the summer and just trying to keep my hair protected. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.